Well, it's been a great week for Manchester United, and so Alex Ferguson's side could clinch the title on Wednesday night at Wigan, should they overcome their local rivals tomorrow, and Liverpool slip up at West Ham later today. The blue half of Manchester have other ideas, though, and Ivan Gaskell's been speaking to a City midfielder who's hoping to spoil the Old Trafford party. While Manchester City's pursuit of the big names has been grabbing headlines, with a succession of head-turning displays, Stephen Ireland's quietly captured attention. Undoubtedly one of the young players of the year, he's unrecognisable from the raw, untried 19-year-old that made his debut just three and a half years ago. Samaras and Ireland, it's his first ever goal for Manchester City. Down the years, there's always like a... In training, I was the best player in training. I just didn't produce on a Saturday, to be honest, and that's basically it. You know, I don't know what it was, to be honest. I think it's a combination with me under Sven playing right wing and under lack of confidence and a number of things, really. Do you know, and I think this year I just caught myself together and I just, after I had my first game against West Ham, I kind of I produced um, kind of more of my ability than I ever had, and I felt, right, this is a stepping stone now, and I'm going to keep going, pushing on from here. He's thumped it home! This squad right now is the strongest squad I've ever been in since I've been to the club. I'm sure it's going to get stronger, but um, this is by far the most ability and the best squad I've been in. After overcoming a potentially crippling knee disorder as a boy, Ireland could have joined more than 20 different clubs, the neighbours at Old Trafford among them. I was there on trial for over a week, and I went straight from on trial there down, to, down the road to Man City on trial. I don't know, it's just the kind of family feel of it, you know, it just didn't feel right when it's United. It felt like, um, in a way, just, even though I was on trial, you just didn't feel like you were important or you didn't know where your company were going. Um, but at City, I just felt right at home, you know, I knew of all teams I've been to, I've been to about 24 clubs uh, at the age of between 12 to 15. And as soon as I came to City, I just felt right, I felt this was the place for me, you know. Into the Champions League final and the Premier League title theirs to lose, United are on a roll and keen to make amends for their derby defeat in the corresponding fixture last season. These games are just great games on playing. You know, you get nervous for the games and the pressure and, you know, you want to win for so many different reasons. And what reasons would you want to win for? Um, the club, the fans and just the self-pride. You know, you, you really come away from there thinking that you've, you've like won a cup final. You know, it's really really good for the self-pride. Um, Would you take particular pleasure in spoiling their party? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, we have to win it. We want to win it. You know, it's, it'd be great for us to win it. Um, I think it's going to be, for a fans' point of view, I think it's going to be a great game to watch. Ireland by name, Ireland by nation. But Stevens had rather an on-off relationship with his country's football team. Fallout since his early teens mean that as the Republic progressed towards a possible place at next summer's World Cup finals in South Africa, he's no more than an interested onlooker. Well, I've been watching the progress they've been making, you know, towards the World Cup, and they've been great, you know, they've been beating teams and grinding and battling out against uh, big teams, and as I'm watching it now, I'm, I feel like I don't want, wouldn't like to be there, to be honest. It was a shame the way I left. Of course, it wasn't... Uh, the right way to leave, but even before that, I felt like something was stirring up. You know, I think it was a ticking time bomb, to be honest, because I just didn't enjoy my time there. Um, sometimes it's hard to say never go back because, you know, anything can change. Um, it's nothing got to do with the staff or the manager or the players or anything like that. It's just right now I'm just happy with my club. Pretty strong words there from Stephen Ireland. He's pretty adamant about his international career, isn't he? Yeah, I just. Uh... Just, you know, I mean, there's no doubt that Ireland's loss is undoubtedly Manchester City's gain. The, the problem is, if you trap a Tony, uh, the Irish players and support, he's such a good player and he's, he's been, you know, for like 18 months at Manchester City, they're kind of thinking, is there no way we could possibly overcome the problem? Obviously, he, he was away and he, he told this fib about his grandma, etc. But I think when you look into that, he just wanted to get out of the situation that he was in and he, and he can be forgiven. But no matter what Ireland do, he, Stephen Ireland just doesn't want to go and want to play, and I, th I suppose eventually you have to respect that. But I would have thought, if he continues in that vein, Manish, eventually he'll kind of come to his sense and think, what am I doing? Yeah. You know, you know when, when you're a footballer, you want to score in the cup final or whatever, but you want to play for your country. Mm. He'll be a shoo-in in their team week in, week Especially out. Especially in the World Cup. Yeah. You want to play yeah. in that. And it's, you know, he, he has had a brilliant season, and I think it, his development has been uh, a huge plus for Man City. Well, he's been their consistent factor in what's mm. been an inconsistent season for them. Yeah, and the midfields have been a problem for them. Uh, defensively, they haven't quite got the balance right, but 
going forward with him. He likes to get forward. He likes to score goals. He's good. Um, he's got good intelligence, and, and he's been brilliant for him. And it's just a shame that you can't go on and show that on an international. And this shows how, how good a player he's been. Is yeah. he starts out in a wide position because you know when with, with, with young lads you're never mm. quite sure midfield players. Mm. After a while they suddenly thought, yeah. boy, this fella can play. So now he's involved in the middle more off, more often than not. Um, I mean he has been their best player. Yeah.